apparent weight and weightlessness. Astronauts who are orbiting the Earth experience the sensation of weightlessness. This is similar to the sensation you experience on a giant wheel or a roller coaster. To understand what causes weightlessness, an idea about true weight and apparent weight is necessary. True weight and apparent weight. The weight or true weight of a body is equal to the force exerted by the earth on it. The true weight of a body of mass m is given by the relation W is equal to mg. The weight of a body is measured with the help of a weighing machine or by a spring balance. When a body is kept on the platform of a weighing machine, its weight is given by the normal contact force between the body and the platform of the machine. Similarly, when a body is suspended from a spring balance, its weight is given by the normal contact force between the spring and the body. When the body is placed on the wing machine, the forces acting on the body are the force of gravity or its weight W acting downwards. The upward normal contact force N exerted by the platform of the machine. It is this upward normal contact force exerted by any supporting surface which gives a feeling of weight. This upward normal contact force is called the apparent weight of the body. The value of this upward normal contact force N depends upon the state of motion of the body. To understand the concept of apparent weight, let us imagine a person standing on a weighing machine placed on the floor of an elevator. Now observe the position of the pointer of the weighing machine when the elevator is at rest. When the elevator moves down with a constant acceleration. When the elevator moves upwards with a constant acceleration. And when the elevator falls freely. We observe that the apparent weight registered by the machine is equal to the true weight of the body less than the true weight of the body. More than the true weight of the body. And equal to zero. That is, the apparent weight of a body depends upon the state of motion of the body. To find out why there is a variation in weight, click on the links provided. When the elevator is at rest, the person inside it is also at rest. External force is equal to zero. Therefore, the true weight of the person W acting vertically downwards is equal to the normal force M acting vertically upwards. In this case, the weighing machine registers the true weight of the body. When the elevator moves down with a constant acceleration, A, the net force acting on the person is equal to true weight of the person minus normal contact force. N is less than the true weight, Mg, of the person. Thus, the scale reads less than the true weight of the person. When the elevator moves upwards with an acceleration A, net force acting on the person is equal to true weight of the person minus normal contact force. N is greater than the true weight of the body. Therefore, the scale reads more than the true weight of the body. When the elevator falls freely, that is, if its cable breaks, then both the person and the weighing machine fall with the same acceleration. Mg is equal to Mg minus N or N is equal to Mg minus Mg that is equal to zero. Thus, the apparent weight of a freely falling person or body is zero. That is, a person or a body appears weightless when falling freely under the influence of gravity. At this stage, the weighing machine will read zero. Thus, we see that during the state of weightlessness, 
the force of attraction due to gravity does not become zero. It is the apparent weight of the body which becomes zero during weightlessness. Weightlessness in space The spaceship and the astronaut orbiting the Earth at a certain height are actually in a continuing state of free fall towards the Earth. As a result, the astronaut does not exert any force on the sides or floor of the spaceship and the sides or the floor of the spaceship do not push the person up. The astronaut therefore experiences weightlessness while orbiting around the Earth.